What is permeability? Let's consider a bar of a magnetic material, say iron. Let's place this bar in a uniform field of strength H. We see that a flux density B develops in the iron bar. Thus the iron bar becomes magnetized and develops its own magnetic field. Such ability of a material to become magnetized in the presence of an external magnetic field is called magnetic permeability. Here the permeability of iron can be calculated using the expression where mu is the absolute permeability, b the magnetic flux density and h the magnetic field strength. Thus, Permeability is the relative increase or decrease in the resultant magnetic field inside a material compared with the magnetizing field in which the given material is located. Its SI unit is Henry per meter. Now the question arises, how will a material respond to a field of strength H? A material with certain magnetic permeability will either magnetize itself in the direction of the field or in opposite direction of the field. So, depending on the permeability, a metal piece will be either attracted to or repelled by the field. If a uniform field of strength H is established in air or vacuum, then the corresponding flux density developed in the air will be where the magnetic constant mu naught is called the permeability of space. Now if we place an iron bar in this field, we see that it gets magnetized by induction. Let's assume that the induced pole strength in the iron bar is N Weber's. We see that a flux of N Weber originates from the north pole of the magnet. It then re-enters its south pole and continues to flow from the south pole to the north pole within the magnet. If A is the pole area of this magnetized iron bar, then the induced flux density in the bar will be Thus we see that the total flux density in the iron bar consists of two parts, B0 and Bi, where B0 represents the flux density in air even when the bar is not present. And Bi is the induced flux density in the bar. Therefore the total flux density will be substituting the value of B0 and Bi in the equation we get or which can be rearranged and the ratio between the flux density produced in that material and the flux density produced in air by the same magnetizing force is known as relative permeability. We need to remember that magnetic permeability is not a constant figure. It changes with the position of the material with respect to the magnetic field, frequency of the field, temperature and various other factors. Note that materials are classified as diamagnetic, paramagnetic and ferromagnetic according to their response to an externally applied magnetic field. The related terms are